vagina. Okay. And she told me, she, uh, we have since been in contact, emailing back and forth, and she's just a lovely person. Yes. But she told told me that um, when uh, they didn't have the first, uh, they, they adopted her when she was about 11 months old. Uh huh. So they didn't have a history for her very beginning, you know. So, and this so whole book is based on that little uh, bedtime story she made up for her daughter to feel special about her beginnings. To let her know that she was loved from the start. In sequence, you know, from start to finish. And then I start, uh, sometimes I draw directly on it when I'm just thinking up ideas. And sometimes when I get a sketch that I like, I'll just tape it right to the dummy. And uh, even though that's not the right size, that was the first sketch of the baby. And she eventually made it that way. You're working a little larger with these thumbnails and sketches than, than with the previous book. Sometimes. Sometimes. I go back and forth. Go back and forth. Yeah. Okay. Like there she is, this little sketch. Let's see. Gonna add, didn't change just a whole lot. Oh my gosh, no. Yeah. So, and then these are just, so this is how I start. And again, I'm sorry, Mark, I keep no, flipping that out. No, this is great. Like this one, I, I have one idea, and then I have another idea, so I put that on top. And then when I go to sketch it out more, I remember what my ideas were by the different layers, and then I can get started on the more finalized sketch. What else did I have? Oh, but for the, to get the to find the baby again, I did the same as with the babies in mind, where I just I just drew baby after baby after baby. That's so interesting. Yeah, let's see this. And then the after I after I got babies I liked and all kinds of sleeping, all kinds of ways. Yes. Then I added the basket around the baby. So oh, okay. Yeah, because the, 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 the figure comes first, right? Yeah. Or the gesture. Uh huh. And, uh, and so. These are on these are on transparent or, or uh, semi-transparent paper, tracing paper. Yep. I like that. And sometimes I'll draw on just copy paper, but I like the tracing paper because then you can. Here was a bunch of babies. A bunch of babies. Wow. And then if I have one I like, then I can put another piece of tracing paper on top and try a different basket behind it. And oh, how adorable. So that's why I use the tracing paper. Oh, I my gosh. Go. So you never actually placed a baby in your studio in a basket? <laughs> no, I never did. <laughs> so. <laughs> and then I also wanted the baby to have a different uh, position in the, every... To keep things interesting. Yeah, and because babies, you know, you go check them in the middle of the night, and they're in a different position. They go, oh, oh yeah. How they do that? I wish I could have seen them turn <laughs> over. You know, because they're you, just so fun how did to watch. Get there? Yeah. So. Oh, I'm starting to recognize things from your little tracing paper scribbles. All right. Your little layered tracing paper. Yeah, it's all moments. it's all part of it. Go. My journey.